It was the most divisive election runoff since Chile returned to democracy. But leftist millennial Gabriel Boric has won a decisive victory with nearly 56% of the vote. Les garantizo desde ya que seré un presidente que cuide a la democracia, que combata firmemente los privilegios de unos pocos y trabaje cada día por la calidad de la familia chilena. Breaking from the polarizing rhetoric of the campaign, Boric's ultra-conservative rival, José Antonio Cast, immediately conceded defeat. Primero que quiero hacer es felicitar a Gabriel Boric. Él se merece todo nuestro respeto, ganó en muy buena lead, muchos chilenos confiaron en él y esperamos que tenga un muy buen gobierno. The choice of president for Chileans was between two starkly different visions. Cast came out on top in the first round of the election, by winning over the wealthy districts of Santiago and the working classes outside the capital with his law and order campaign. But in the end, it was 35-year-old Boric who secured the majority in the second round of his welfare state plans to tackle the country's deep-rooted social inequality, a major change for a country considered Latin America's bastion of neoliberalism. Boric has promised to raise taxes on the super-rich to expand social services and boost protection of the environment. He also mobilised Chile's youth with socially inclusive policies, speaking up for LGBT and women's rights. Chile's youngest ever president-elect will be inaugurated in March next year.